right, and we're back. Number three, it's just you and me now. <laughs> it's almost intimate, isn't it? Uh, just the ones who chose the uh, Kakoks tonight. Um, let's see your cards. Um, we have uh, three cards. A very, very, very interesting set. This. Uh, we have the Stoat, and we have the uh, Tradition, and then we have the Generosity card. And um, with this, I actually feel that for you, it's going to be quite okay, this shift. You're not going to be uh, um, having so much problems, I don't think. I don't think you're going to experience a lot of problems. I do feel that um, you might have the feel the need to withdraw from... Um, other people, society, so to speak, that you just take time for yourself and to uh, do your own thing, meditate and, and um, tap into your own wisdom, especially with this card, tap into your own wisdom, you know, just your own thing, you know how to do your own thing. And, <clears throat> and in a way also, shine your light. It's, uh, that's why I feel that you are not really going to have such big problems. This is the same dude, isn't it? It's the same man. And, uh, yeah, and, and with the stoat, I, I always like that so much. It's such an intriguing card. It's such a cheeky little fella. <laughs> uh, the other day I, I actually uh, read up on, uh, on, on this, this cute little thingy. Uh, also as a totem animal what it stands for and um, in a way I do feel that um, a part of that which is also important for you with this reading is that you, um, you know how to take care of yourself this 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 little fella does as well they uh, hoard uh, or cash cash food and um, um, they, they do that um, not because they're greedy, I suppose, but because, um, well, they do need food. They do, whoa, I'm blinded now. I looked at my outside and I happened to look at my car and it's the sun glare. Whew! <laughs> um, uh, where was I? Um, um, uh, yeah, they, they, they cash their food because they, of course, need sustenance in order to uh, go hunting. This is a hunter, right? And they're always search searching, they're always out hunting. Uh, mostly at night, they're nocturnal. And they cash their food because they, um, if they eat a lot in one go, they will... Um, well, they, they, they will get heavier and put on weight maybe, but they get heavier and then they lose their agility. And they, they then they can't hunt anymore. They can't hunt properly anymore. So he's really smart, this fella. Uh, meaning that he has this, uh, what do you call that? It's not called a den, is it? But okay, his, where he lives on the ground uh, usually has uh, more than one chamber as well. And he puts, uh, he stores food there so he can eat whenever he needs to eat and doesn't have to stuff himself so he loses his agility. Uh, so he knows how to take care of himself, what's needed for him to, to look after himself, for his health, his well-being, his longevity, everything. And you know that too. And that's you also know then, um, I feel, during this energetic shift, everything that's going to uh, happen, that you need time... Um, you know what to do, how to deal with it. And uh, I feel in most cases for you that will be withdrawing from society. Because this dude, he, he I'm calling him a dude. He's basically just a, like a shaman. I'm calling him a dude. <laughs> this man, okay, let's be more respectful. This man, he's like a, a wise man. He knows what to do. And, and uh, he has a lot of wisdom as well. A lot of tools available to himself. So I, I do feel that you know how to deal with energy, that you know how to uh, ground yourself, for instance, and shield yourself, deal with that sort of stuff. And um, so um, you will also know that when, I feel that these, these stones are like people, and that when you have to withdraw from 
people from society, maybe societal rules as well, uh, what they expect, etc., then you will withdraw from that because you know what is right for you, what will help you. Um, and with these stones, I also it's supposed to be a circle, but in a way, to me, it always feels like um, I don't feel it's like a circle if you look at that, it's like more like. Uh, a cluster of stones. No, I don't feel it's a circle. It doesn't look like a circle. It's just a cluster. I also feel it's a bit uh, with this reading, then especially that it's um, that it could be a bit overwhelming, daunting the other people, then right? Uh, as, uh, or maybe just society as well. Maybe that during this phase, that uh, the stuff that's going on now energetically. You will feel that it's all uh, a lot of to do. It it just wears you out. It's just too much. The input of other people, or too many people, or maybe just society in general, or how society oops is working, and that that is just um, it doesn't resonate with you, and 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 it, it just doesn't do you any good. And so you feel like doing your own thing, withdrawing from that, doing your own thing. And you know how to do your own thing, how to do take care of you. So you do feel good and get through this. Also because of that little fella, right? I just really love that car. It's just really love that car. He also knows how to fit in, right? So it's not like you're like a, a weirdo or something. He does know that this, he knows how to fit in. Like during summer, he has this red brown fur, but during winter, he has this white fur. So he does know how to fit in to society, to conform, but he nev never loses his um, uniqueness. Uh, because this 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 black tail, this point, this black tail, he will always have that, whether it's summer or whether it's winter. That's what's distinctive about the stoat, right? He always has that black point, and uh, so he he knows how to conform to be part of society, but he he never loses his own his, or her, his her own unique uh, thing, style, whatever, you know. And, and yeah, you can then radiate that out. That's what this generosity is about as well. So maybe during this entire shift, you're going to be able to help other people or just uh, uplift other people by who you are, by your own stability, your own inner stability. Uh, in order to maintain that, I do feel you will have to spend quite some time on your own because this person, this man here, and it's the same man. I mean, look at that. It's just the same man. Right? He, he, in both uh, settings, he's on, alone. He's alone. So I, I do feel that's going to serve you best, to spend time on your own, so you can just really connect with your own energies and, and higher energies, the higher energies that are coming in. And then, yeah. And then when you do uh, spend time with other people, like maybe you have a family, or maybe you do go out and whatever, you will then... Just by being you, you will radiate that out as well, and that will uplift other people. You don't have to do anything for that. It just happens by itself, as long as you're not greedy, right? Um, so I feel that you are not going to have a really very difficult time, most of you who chose this. Um, <clears throat> as long as you keep tapped into uh, that inner knowledge, that inner wisdom, and if you feel... Uh, that you do need time out, then take that time out. Because if you don't do that, then it might become difficult after all, right? You know how to take care of yourself. You know how to take care of yourself. So don't ignore that. Also, do take care of yourself the way you know you have to, right? Then you're going to have it, uh, I think, going to have it quite easy. I wonder if uh, most of the people who chose this are, in actual fact, the, the sun signs that were supposed uh, that are supposedly not going to be affected so much by this, like the that was uh, Pisces, Aries, Libra, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Gemini. So I wonder if most of the people who chose this set are, in actual fact, either one of these six signs. So yeah, if you're not, just let me know. I'm just curious, you know. Yes, there's all, of course, there's also going to be other people who are not of the, uh, who don't have the, those sun signs, who will have it easier, right? 
uh, it just depends on where you are on uh, on your path as a uh, as an individual, but also as a soul, how far you have grown and advanced, etc. If you are, you know, and and also what comes up will get stirred up by these energies, and that, that makes a, a difference as well. So it's it's not always set in stone that everyone is going to have a shit time. <laughs> it it really varies depending on where you are on your path. And for instance, if if the uh, uh, energies uh, in the, the, that goes for any portal or full moon or whatever, if the energies of that moment, for instance, drag up stuff concerning relationships and at that moment in time, you are going through a difficult time when it comes to relationships, well, then you're going to have a difficult time. If at that moment you are actually doing really well when it comes to your love life and relationships and relating, then you might have it easy. That's what I mean. It depends where you are on your path, but also at a certain moment in time. Uh, I hope that's clear. Anyhow, uh, your card start to make it easier. Well, in a way, that's just pointless because I think you're going to have it quite easy. But what can help you is to indeed just remain in love. This is heart chakra. This is the main heart chakra card. Uh, and this deck uh, has per chakra five or six different cards touching upon aspects to do with the chakra. And, and it has a uh, one card that is just the main chakra. You got that, the heart chakra. So it's everything con uh, to do with the heart chakra. So being in love, um, keep that connection going, right? Like this card as well. Just tap into your love, your, your kindness, your generosity, your, uh, your heart. Just that. That's going to help you. And again, you see like this is this radiating out from the inside out. You see that here as well. It's just bang like a flower. It's radiating out. So if you stay in touch with that, it's going to help you. This is a solar plexus card. Uh, playfulness, inner child, um, lightheartedness, in innocence, wonder. Just have a bit that that. You know, that playfulness, lightheartedness, and, and all that stuff is going to help you as well. And I think that is, uh, I, I always feel that with this too. That this is just like a cheeky little fellow, a bit playful, a bit, maybe a bit, a bit naughty, just cheeky, a bit cheeky. Yeah, can be a bit of a tease. But, you know, it's, um, he's got a mind of his own. He really has a mind of his own, this dude. I so love that card. I, I remember as a child... At school, um, yeah, we always had these projects to do with animals, and then um, you could choose your own animal. And I had this thing with that stone, and um, so I had to write an essay on it or whatever. And I was so, so impressed as a child. I think I was about nine years old or something, nine or maybe ten. I can't really remember, but just an animal that in in winter has this white coat. It's like wow, you know. Yeah, I I don't know. I always had that thing with stoat. It's a uh, yeah, but playfulness and lightheartedness and don't so don't be all too serious. You know, it is a stick with your own thing. You know what you have to do to take care of yourself. You know what you need, and if you feel like playing and and, and just don't be all too serious either. That that will help you. And the uh, water crystal that uh, for you uh, is good to sit with. Uh, and meditate with is to do with the cranial uh, hado and that has to do hang about I'll look it up as well it's peace of mind and there is an uh, it comes up with these cards this, this is a healing card and then it comes up with the positive side which is peace of mind and then it also says what is the uh, the other side of the coin which is fear of losing self-control so maybe you can do something with that. Keep your peace of mind. Well, that comes up, uh, right? This peace of mind, knowing when to withdraw so you can maintain your peace of mind, um, knowing how to take care of yourself so you can keep your peace of mind. Being playful is uh, to keep your peace of mind. You know, it's just really connects. It's just wonderful. And this is the crystal that comes with that. Good cranial. 
these are crystals the photographs are taken from uh, water that has been exposed to the energy uh, and then uh, it was then frozen and then when it begins to thaw then uh, it begins to form crystals before it is uh, uh, completely uh, turned to water again when it's still slightly frozen then it begins to uh, form these crystals the water the ice basically ice right then forms crystals so that's how he found out how uh, dr masaru emoto how water um, reacts to different energies positive negative energies so anyhow yours is the cranial heart peace of mind now um uh, 15 minutes. I still got time. I decided just now when I had a break between these two. Oops, that was my dolphin card. This is dolphin. Just look at that. Isn't that wonderful? The crystal, the water crystal that is formed when it's exposed, when uh, water is exposed to the energy of dolphin. Uh, I decided to do uh, to just continue this video. Why not? You know, I'm busy. I'm having actually having a good time. I'm seriously enjoying myself. So I just thought like everyone, of course, always wants to know about love. So I'm gonna do a very brief love thingy. Also to do uh, 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 for now during this energetic stuff. You know what you shouldn't do, can expect when it comes to your love life, and uh, just maybe advice or whatever. So I did a few cards, so I'm going to do uh, another reading. So it's going to be a pick a card reading in a pick a card reading. It just spontaneously came up. It's like, ah, oh, why not? You know, why the hell not? I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Seriously enjoying myself. Ah, right. <clears throat> I don't mind talking anyway. I, don't, I always talk too much. Uh, and we have the sign. So, um, I'll... Hang about. They they all have these romance angels and an enchanted map card as advice. I'm not certain the camera is too high up. I'm gonna show you a crystal to help you choose since you can't see the piles, the sets. The first one is a fire calcite. Fire calcite. If you feel drawn to that, you are number one. <coughs> Numbers two. This is red jasper in. Chalcedony. So if you feel drawn to that, your number two. I do like this stone actually. I hardly ever carry it with me, but it it, it just has such a happy energy, playful, happy. I so love it. And then for the numbers three <coughs> is a snowflake, oops, snowflake obsidian. If you feel drawn to that, you are a number three ready um then we're going into the numbers one so uh, this is to do with your love life during this uh, shift right so uh, it's not like uh, you're gonna meet your soulmate and all that stuff no it's, it's more like checking what's going on during this shift when it comes to your love life uh because all this to do with the energies and uh Ready. Anyhow, for the numbers of one, we begin with the romantic feelings and the reconciliation. Now, this does seem like, oh yes, I want that, I like that, but there's this but. Because we are in this uh, shift, going through that shift, I do feel that right now it's not really a very good time to make uh, decisions and changes and to go for something, especially something as important as your love life, because it's if you get hurt, it bloody hurts. <laughs> and with this, I get the feeling that um, the one who chooses, you likely have an ex that you maybe you're not completely over that yet. And maybe your feelings will get, um, because of all these energies whizzing around, your, your, your feelings will come up concerning that person again. So you will sort of begin to feel romantic feelings for them again. Uh, maybe you thought you were over them and then f now suddenly find that, oh my god, I actually really want them back. And then that's what this uh, reconciliation card is is saying, you know, why it's coming in. 
that's what I think this is the message of this is and I felt that real strong okay uh, you may not like to hear that and uh, but I really felt that very strongly that um, you just might end up feeling that way you think or if you do not have an ex uh, then it could be that you're going to have romantic feelings for someone who isn't actually the right one for you but you can't see judge clearly right now because of these energies that are whizzing around so right now it really i really feel it's not the right time to uh, rekindle any romance with someone just wait wait see how you feel after this uh, shifts all these energies so if you really feel like oh my god I want them back and I want to text them I want to phone them or whatever don't do it wait 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 can also be that your ex is suddenly going through this and all of a sudden your ex is going to get in touch with you so send an email phone you text you get in touch with you and in, in, in you know because they suddenly have that drive again like oh my god what have I done what why did we split up I actually still feel feelings etc etc but I do not feel that right now is the, the 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 right time for you to make any serious decisions considering your love life it's best to wait really just if something like this happens and if you are not in that situation like I said then with a uh, that you don't have an ex that you still have feelings for maybe or whatever or the other way around they come back to you with really then I feel that maybe you're gonna feel something for someone and they are not the right person maybe because they themselves are still um, not over an ex just somehow it feels off. I, it just feels off. Even though it seems so positive, it somehow feels off because of these energies right now at the moment. It's not the right time. Okay? So don't do any drastic, uh, make any drastic decisions like, oh yes, let's go back together because then maybe after a week when the energies go down or two weeks or whatever, you find out like, oh shit. Yeah, there was a reason why we split up and we actually should never have gotten back together. You might end up getting hurt yet again. So wait, don't be hasty. Don't be hasty. Uh, with this, I feel that confirms that flying. Uh, keep above the drama, like the labyrinth. You get lost in a labyrinth, right? You can't find your way out and you're walking around there for the for hours, days, weeks, whatever, and, and, and in circles, going round and round, not finding your way out, and getting oh, desperate, lost, and don't go there, don't, sh don't go into that drama again, stay above it, stay above it, stay above that drama, the drama of the relationship, um, don't go in there, don't go in there, because you're doing okay. You are doing okay. Look at that little horsey. You know, you're doing fine. You're doing okay. But if you go back there, then you end up in the labyrinth again. And you do not want to go there. It's not going to do you any good. I also feel, it's really weird. I also feel that if you do go back there again, if you do uh, reconcile, rekindle with someone, for the ones it might not be for everyone that message okay but if that's your if that does resonate with you uh that it really will not uh, be for a long time I, I feel that it will not be for a long time it will then be like maybe it will last for a few months but then you, you will like i said just now you will find out like okay there was a reason after all that we split and that reason is still there and then it's going to bloody hurt to go through that again. Because then you're back in that labyrinth. So don't do it. Don't make any decisions right now. Just wait it out. Okay? Right. Uh, numbers two. Um, <clears throat> For the numbers two, the ones who chose the uh, red jasper in Chalcedonia, we have playfulness. And uh, it's safe for you to love. Now that's good. The advice card we have with that was the 
this one, it came out reversed, stuck in the mud, reversed. Then it says, as advice, um, that you shouldn't try to push things, control things, have things the way you want it, when you want it, how you want it, etc. like that. Because then you're going to stay stuck much longer, then you're going to just stay stuck. And you don't want that, right? You want to move forward, you don't want to stay stuck. So don't be too pushy, controlling, whatever. Uh, and in that sense, combined with these, I feel that is, uh, don't push for an outcome. Not right now. This is really for right now during this shift, right? Um, <clears throat> with the highlights on that, the emphasis on the on the energies, uh, 20 from now until the 27th, 28th. But it will it will take time for it to die down again, right? Because there is so much going on, like I explained in the first video at the beginning in the first video. So the climax is going to be on the 25th through the 27th. And then it will die down a little bit, but that will take quite some time because this is all very serious, lots of energies. So uh, uh, for now, basically, don't try to force things. Don't try to force your will on stuff like I want a commitment. I want to move forward. I want to know where we are going, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. That will work against you. Just enjoy it for what it is, be playful, just enjoy it in the now for what it is in the now. Because it is safe for you to love, it is safe. Just don't start frigging pushing for an outcome. Not now. Not a right moment now to do that. Alright? So this is very positive, as long as you bear that in mind. Because it is safe. This is very positive, this is really, really good. It is safe for you to love. So just mustn't push. Just believe in that. Just trust that it's safe for you to love. Just enjoy it. Playful. Enjoy it. Really enjoy it. You know, you live now. Not in the result as somewhere in the future. That will come. Just enjoy it now. And know it's safe. Trust in that. And don't try to force an outcome. And then everything is going to be fine. Yeah. And that's, that goes as well if you're single. Right? Um, just be playful. Be playful. Try, don't try to uh, get to something serious. Don't do, like, I want it now. Where is my partner? I want him now. When is he going to come in? Now, now, now. Don't do that. Don't force anything that will work against you. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Enjoy your life. And enjoy the things that are in your life that you can love and uh, be grateful for that enjoy it have fun and don't push right now it's not pushing 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 is going to work against you also if you're single then right okay ready uh, numbers three the ones who went for the um, snowflake obsidian um, yeah this was a bit of a, a tricky one we have religious factors and finances oops, and career. And, um, yeah, I feel for you right now is just not a favorable time during these energies, okay? Just bear in mind, I'm not telling you that this is going to last for months on end or the rest of the year or whatever. This is for now. During these energies, there's this huge turmoil shift. During this turmoil and chaos and shit that's going on, uh, your love life is not really going to be, you know, it's not going to be a favorable time. It's not, if you're single, it's not really the right time. You're, 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 um, I think your focus is not on that either, really. It's more of this finances and career thinking. Maybe that is eating up more of your time and your energy. And, um... And with this, I, I just get a really, really strong feeling um, that you're too much in a mindset of um, how you want things at the moment. How you, uh, what kind of man, if you're single, what kind of man you want and kind of like really being like, I'm not going to settle for anything if he doesn't have a moustache, I don't want him. You know, that's a to totally over-the-top ridiculous example. I know I'm deliberately doing that to make a point. 
but it's okay to have um, to know what you want and what you need out of a partner in a relationship. That's that's good actually because most people don't even know, don't even ever think about that. So that's really good. But I feel that oh, at the moment you're too too um, strict with that, too um, too demanding, just too demanding. If he isn't a, uh, I don't know, a bookkeeper, I don't want him. I only want a man or a woman when she, when he or she is doing this, that or the other, or has this, that or the other. And a bit like in that mindset, like, like, not flexible. You're not being, I feel not flexible, yeah. More like uh, in, in the mindset of, uh, yeah, just wanting the things your way. And that's just because of these energies that are whizzing around at the moment. Because I don't think you are like that at all, normally speaking. It's just like, at the moment, it seems like you you are in that mindset, in that state of mind. Like, well, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I want to, you know, let him come to me or let him do that. It's like that mindset like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's not going to work in your favour when it comes to your love life. Not, not in, in, in any area of your life, likely. But, yeah, not in your love life. Because that's not an open, loving, giving, receiving uh, vibe. And it's not appealing. And it's okay. I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> we all have bad hair days. And like I said, it's only for now during these... Uh, turmoil chaotic uh, shift uh, days right so you're not just you're not just uh, you're, you're just not having your uh, best days when it comes to love in that sense I don't think that's what I feel I'm sorry about that um, and then the advice card it's it's um, details details again I feel that says that too demanding, too focused on the details, on the nitty gritty, being like, well, oh, yeah, but I just said, like, if he doesn't, or she, right, if, if they don't, don't do this or don't have that, or, well, uh, I don't want that, I'm not going to do that, that, kind of like that, is that a stuck up kind of attitude? And, um, yeah, that's, that's how you are at the moment, because if, when it comes to your love life, at least, you know, when, because of these energies. Uh, and again, it's like I said, I don't think you are like that, normally speaking. But sometimes we can just have these, 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 these days or moments in life where we are like that. We all are like that every now and then, I think. And now, because of these energies, that is what yeah, will trigger that. I drew an extra card as advice for clarity, and to me that confirms that as well. Because you do want the Golden Palace, you do want it all. But it's, um, I also feel that this is like, um, yeah, it is a golden palace, it, but it's, 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 it's not really safe, I don't know. It always makes me feel, it's supposed to be a very positive card, but it always makes me feel like that palace at some point, uh, it's going to just fall down with the cliff. It's not stable. I wouldn't build my palace there, no way. You know, at some point I can see that just a whole lot just collapse. And <laughs> so I really feel for you it's not the right time at, right now, not these days, these, these, during this climax to, uh, if you're single, to do anything about your love life, just leave it be. You know, have fun with your friends, do other stuff, and just maybe have a good whinge about men and women. And I feel you, you would want that at, right now, like... Uh, bloody men, they always do this, that or the other, and if you're a man, maybe you feel like, well, women, you know, they always want this, and blah, blah, and that, you know, and then, yeah, you, you, you could easily do that now, I think, and um, now I was going to say something else, and now I complete, completely forgot it, <laughs> I completely lost it, <laughs> yeah, but that's what I think, and it will go, you know, it's not like a uh, status quo, it will go again. So it's just now. Yeah. Ready. Uh, thank you for watching. And then I will be back again with another reading, of course, whenever I feel like it. And <laughs> I might do it like this again. I actually really quite like that, to do the readings like this. So, um, 
Thank you for watching and please leave me some feedback whether the stuff resonates. Please don't be angry if you didn't get the love message that you were hoping for. <laughs> Yeah, uh, because it, like if if energies are so turbulent, it's quite not uh, quite unlikely. I think that uh, you then will meet the love of your life, right? Because if you're uh, going noodly doodly because of the energies, the other person is likely also going woohoo affected by all the energies. That's not really a, what, a great time to meet someone, is it? to work on your now I remember number three that's what I wanted to tell you um, if you are in a relationship if you are in a relationship with this then it might now also be a bit of a bumpy ride because of that energy because of that vibe so try to not um, argue too much try to find your um, common ground because this is also about having different um, um, point of view, different values. and Well, if you're in a relationship, I suppose you do not have different values, otherwise you wouldn't be in a relationship, but you can have different points of view because you are in a, in a shite mood, for instance, right? That you can just clash, you know? You have that in a relationship, don't you? That occasionally you just... <laughs> then you, at that moment, have a different point of view. Try to avoid that. Try to just stick to the stuff that you uh, work together well with, that do resonate still, even now, and uh, and maybe just just you know just slow it down a little bit. Don't demand too much. Don't expect too much. Don't argue. Steer clear from it. Know that it is just temporary. All right. It's just temporary because I think the peak of all this will be over in. Yeah, I do think after the 28th, 27th, 28th, right? And it, it will take time for it to die down. To re it will go slow. It will really be slow. But the peak it will be gone then, I think. All right? So just take it easy. Just take it easy. Think about your blood pressure. <laughs> Don't get too angry or anything. Ready? That was it for now. I'm going to upload it to YouTube Thank you all for watching. If you're new, uh, please just if you like my my style, my readings, etc., just subscribe. I love comments. I love thumbs up as well. And uh, I'll be back again soon. Bye.